I enjoyed building um, the QCX uh, so much uh, and I've been using it as well. It's a smashing little thing, amazing little rig. I decided I would build another one. So that's just arrived, just this minute. So let's have a look and see just what we've got. Ignore the bit of the cut if you if you saw a bit of the cut on the uh, box there. That was my fault for trying to open it the wrong end. So plenty of packing. And brown packing tape, which makes it so much easier to see where everything is stitched together. Not necessarily any easier for getting into it. I'm not complaining. Now oh, we've got a few things. So one of the things I've got is uh, this little dummy load kit. It's a 20 watt dummy load kit and uh, as you can imagine consists of resistors, a board and a, uh, a socket, a BNC socket to connect to. Um, so that's just one little kit that I thought I would get myself. Uh, there's the case here for the QDX, very similar to the QCX, of course. So let's have a look what we've got in here. So there's the front and back for the case and the feet. And here is actual kit itself. Now, as usual, the surface mount on here, and all the surface mount has been pre-populated on the board. As well as um, this little section here, which is relatively new, and is a switch mode supply, um, which really um, cuts down on, uh, on the amount of current that's flying around and uh, being wasted in heat. And there's a really good video um, on the QRP Lab site uh, regarding that. It's really good. It's on uh, on YouTube. This is a Revision 5 board. As you can see, there's quite a lot of um, surface mount on here. So I'll put that back in its box, in its, in its, box, in its bag. Be very careful. Um, there's a bag here with capacitors and... Looks like the PA transistors in. And a bag of uh, toroids, including a binocular uh, toroid. Um, so it's a while since I've turned one of those. And the rest of the uh, the rest of the kit. Now the the QDX is a five band uh, data transceiver. So um, it has uh, USB uh, to the computer and a, a BNC out to the aerial um, and a power socket. So uh, that's the uh, that's the setup, and it does five bands. And the bands I've chosen are 80, 60, 40, 30, and 20. So um, this will cover all those bands. Now, of course, there's no tuner, so you would need to make sure the aerial is resonant when you switch band. Um, but I'm really looking forward to this and maybe doing a bit of um, uh, JS8 call and, uh, and some FT8 um, out portable. So uh, that'll be great. So looking forward to that. So that's the QDX.